Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shop my stash video. I'm just gonna take you through my makeup collection and we're gonna pick out products that I haven't used in a long time. And this is obviously the completed look. So yeah, if you want to shop my stash with me, then just keep watching. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Good morning, friends. So today I am going to do a little bit of a shot my stash. I kind of want to pick out some products that I haven't used in a long time. So yeah, let's get started. This is the first type of video I've ever done, like a shot my stash kind of video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. My stash is not as big as a lot of beauty gurus. However, um, it's big enough. <laughs> So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so opening this first drawer, I usually keep my foundations in here. I also keep like concealers and setting sprays and primers. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is try out the Shake Primer again by Kat Von D instead of using concealer. I also keep like little gemstones and stuff in here for like creative Instagram looks. I haven't tried this in a while. Maybe I'll try this. This is the Hourglass Veil uh, Primer, so. Let's take that out. Um, I haven't used this foundation in a while, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, so let's try that. Hmm. This is the uh, Fenty Beauty Setting Spray, the What It Do. When I first got it, um, the bottle was cracked, so I just kind of put it in this one. I'm going to use this one. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. I bought this for a video, and um, I really haven't used it since, so I don't really remember how it performs or if I even like it, so let's pull that. Next up, this is so unorganized, but actually I'm going to pick my eyeshadow first before I pick like highlighters and blushes and stuff. Also very unorganized. I just kind of, it was organized at one point, I swear. But this is real life. I didn't want to organize it just for the video. I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling anything I'm seeing in this drawer. Um, it's all stuff that I've used fairly recently because this is kind of the drawer where I just shove everything after I'm done. So I've used all of these palettes like decently recently. So uh, this is all of my Anastasia palettes. Um, a lot of ColourPop in here, a Natasha Denona. I think I used that recently though. I kind of want to use the So Jaded palette. Let's go with that because there's a lot of options in there and there's some color too. So I'm going to pull that. This is my last drawer currently. I'm kind of currently going through it and removing styles that I don't use or that are like really gross and filled with lash glue. Hmm. I really like the boudoir lights. Okay, let's pull those. Uh, we're gonna go to lips. I think I wanna do a cream lipstick. I mean, if I do cream, there's not much to pick from other than ColourPop, so. Maybe I will go with ColourPop. I know this is a lot of ColourPop, but it's just a lot of what I have. I'm gonna pick all three because I don't know what look I'm doing, so I'm gonna pick Spring Roll, What's Your Sign, and Scorpio Moon. You can't see the labels and I'm not going to get it to focus, so. This is just strictly for lip glosses, and I think for lip gloss I'm actually going to pull something from Stelazzi. I haven't used these in quite some time. These are their lip vinyls, and they're super good, so I'm going to pull a bunch of colors because I don't know which one I want to use. Okay, so let's go back to my blush and highlight drawer. Since I still don't know what I want to do, I think I'm going to go for something that's more neutral. Well, I haven't used this in a while. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Call My Blush. It's pretty neutral, especially when used with a light hand. So I'm gonna pull that. For highlighter, hmm. Hi, Debbie. That's my cat, obviously. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I might use the Becca Pearl highlighter. Let's take that out. And then if I want, oh, hi. <laughs> and then if I want something warmer, I'm also gonna pull out the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay. I don't use this butter bronzer often because Physician's Formula is not cruelty free anymore. They sell in China, but I'm trying to use this product up. So I think I'm gonna pull it just because I wanna use it up. And I'm realizing that I haven't picked out a translucent powder. This is the Anastasia one. I really don't like it, so I'm not gonna choose that. How about we go with the Milani powder? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go with this Milani powder. Okay, so now that we have picked our products and I have done my brows because that's the same every day, 
uh, let's get started. I guess I will start off with my eyes as I usually do. Um, I'm gonna do the Kat Von D KVD Vegan Beauty, sorry, Shake Primer again. I did a review on this, but I'm still kind of unsure about my like final thoughts, so I'm gonna keep testing it out. Still really do like the packaging though. I think that's super cool. Just do a little drop. It's kind of hard to work with because it's so liquidy. Like kind of goes everywhere. Okay, so now that the primer's dry, I'm just gonna set everything with this uh, light cream shade here called My Precious just to try and cancel out any veins and stuff because that is a completely clear primer and I do have some discoloration that I don't love. So today is Canada Day and I'm doing nothing to celebrate. I am just hanging out. I'm filming this. <laughs> I feel like since Canada Day is on a Wednesday this year, it's like kind of strange. Furthermore, obviously we're still in quarantine so I mean what are you really gonna do I live in Ottawa which is the capital of Canada and normally there is a big celebration downtown at our Parliament building uh, but obviously since we're avoiding large crowds that's not a thing this year what are you gonna do I'm gonna work that's what I'm gonna do so I don't know, just kind of feels like every other day. The shadow's really pink toned for me. I've noticed as I've gotten older, I used to think I was really pink toned, but I'm actually pretty yellow. I just have like a lot of redness in my face that makes me look pink. Yeah, that looks really pink on me, but that's okay because we're gonna cover it with like other shadows. So I'm gonna do a very summery look today. Uh, I'm gonna start off with this uh, mustard yellow citrine. I'm just applying this as my crease color and then I'm gonna blend it out so it's more of a transition shade. Our coils won't stop screaming today. Normally they're pretty quiet, but today is not that day. They're just going nuts and it's driving me absolutely crazy because I'm trying to film. Normally it wouldn't bug me, but there they go again. It turned out yet less yellow, I feel, and more like orangey. So yesterday, as we know, Tati uploaded her Breaking Her Silence video. And I don't want to talk about that too much just because I kind of want to get back to like the makeup and the fun stuff. Uh, but I don't know, it's just, it's really like it's on the forefront of my mind because she just dropped that video yesterday. So I do want to kind of mention it. I really want to believe her. However, last year she also posted a video that I really believe. So, uh, I think she might just be a believable person. I don't know. I like to think that she's not a liar because she posts such honest beauty reviews or what appears to be so honest. If I learned anything from last year, it's to wait things out before developing an opinion. So I'm trying not to, but I do really want to believe her. I do think that there is merit in what she says. I don't think she's just pulling it out of her ass, but that actually blended out really nicely on top of that primer. My issue the last time I tried this primer was you can totally see like where I first put the color down. It was kind of hard to blend out, but setting it with a flesh toned eyeshadow or even like a pressed powder would be like perfect. So I would recommend doing that if you're gonna purchase this primer. So that color actually turned out a lot darker than I was anticipating. So I might change my look a little bit, but not too much. So I'm gonna go in with this warm brown here, Carnelian. I was gonna go with Eura Gem, but I think the Citrine actually showed up darker than the Eura Gem color, so I don't think that would actually show up. And I'm gonna grab that Carnelian color on the same brush. It's just a Sigma blending E25. I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner and I'm gonna kind of blend it up. I really wanna do like more product reviews, but I feel like nothing fun is launching right now except for that Urban Decay palette, and that's not even that fun for me. Like, I feel like it's gotten quite a bit of negativity. Like, not a lot of people are liking it, so I don't wanna buy it if I think I'm not gonna like it, and from the way it applies, I don't think I'm gonna like it. There's just not enough mattes. Like, there's like, three mattes in that entire palette and it's like what the hell am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. I feel like 
they're just dragging on the naked trend for like far too long and they're not updating it like the first naked palette i think had two mattes in that entire palette and while that was acceptable for the time it is now 2020 and we need more matte shades more specifically we need more matte shades that are deeper like i feel like you can't deepen any of those looks with the mattes that you're given they're all like super light i don't know i'm hoping the fall will bring some really pretty new collections but as of now nothing's really speaking to me which is disappointing because i want to review things but if i want to review things then i have to buy them but i don't want to buy something that i feel like i'm not gonna like you know what i mean because i don't get a lot of pr like all of the other gurus i just i don't know i just don't i can't tell if that cerulean color went on patchy it kind of feels like it did like here i'll zoom you in a little more and i'll see if you can see that like right here i feel like there's a little patch there of dark shadow that i just can't seem to blend out i don't know if you can even see it really or if it's even that noticeable, I might just be nitpicking here, but I don't know. I don't know if I like that primer. I think I wanna like it more than I'm actually liking it. Does that make sense? I kinda wish I used a smaller brush for that carnelian shade, because now I feel like it's taking over the entire look. And now I'm bringing everything up super high, trying to blend it out. This looks a mess already. However, when you make a mistake like that, it's a really easy fix. All you have to do, all you have to do is take like a little straight brush like this one. I don't think it's focusing. It's straight and it's pretty flat. I think I've shared this tip like multiple times on my channel, but you never know who's watching, you know? I'm just gonna take some of my Urban Decay, what is this? Stay Naked The Fix Powder. And I'm just going to run it under my brow bone and that kind of helps tone everything down if you bring things up too high. Okay, so I'm back. I just cut my little creases um, using a little bit of foundation. I used, uh, I just used the ColourPop E4 brush. E4 brush, well, whatever. It's the E4 brush. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say that? This is the best brush for cutting your crease. It's like the perfect shape just to go boop, 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 boop. That was annoying, I'm so sorry, I'll never do that again. So now that I've got the crease, I'm going to go into this aquamarine shade, cause it's summertime and I wanna be basic. I feel like this is like the go-to summer basic look, is like warm tones and then cut it with a blue or a teal. That color is really pretty. Whoa, why, did my, why does my crease look like that? Do you see that? I feel like it's weird. Okay, that was really strange. This color makes me feel like a mermaid. It's just so sparkly and shimmery and it's perfect mermaid color. I could show you the world. Wait, no, that's Aladdin. That's not the little mermaid. Wow, that's embarrassing. We're just gonna cut that out and pretend it never happened, okay? All right. Okay, so I did my eyeliner and kind of cleaned up underneath and stuff just because that stuff's boring. And yeah, let's move on. I am going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I heard great things about this, but honestly, I don't really get it. I don't know. Um, it's really white. I feel like it kind of makes me look blue a little bit. I'm just trying to use it up at this point. Thank goodness I got a smaller size so that I didn't have like a full big one to go through. I feel like it gives me like a purpley cast, so I don't know. I don't love that. For foundation, I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty 120 Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I'm gonna shake it up real good. I'm gonna apply it with a brush today. Why? I couldn't tell you. Well, I could tell you. It's because I don't feel like getting up and dampening my sponge. I still really like this foundation. It's not my absolute favorite anymore. I think I prefer the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, but I still really like this. I might be using too much though because I'm used to working with a sponge. I don't know if I even finished my thought about Tati's video. I just want to finish that thought really quickly because I have the memory of a goldfish and I can't remember if I even finished talking about it. Uh, I think that there is a lot of truth to what she said. I just don't know how much, so I'm trying not to draw any, you know, 
conclusions until I know the whole story, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, and I'm trying not to get too invested into it. I did that last year, I was so invested, and I just kind of stressed me out, you know? Maybe that's just me getting stressed out by other people's drama, but I feel like that's kind of normal. Like, I don't know, I feel like the parties involved are so affected and it just kind of translates to me. Yeah, I don't love that foundation primer combo. We're gonna roll with it because it's already on and I used way too much foundation as I had speculated. Okay, what did I choose for concealer? Oh yeah, the NYX, oh, this is gonna be super light for me. Well, we'll use it anyway. The NYX can't stop, won't stop. This is the shade Alabaster. I use Alabaster in the foundation though, so maybe this might be all right. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's not terrible. I feel like I've just applied a lot. I find I've learned about myself recently that I have such a heavy hand with complexion products. Like I need to tone it down, but I just don't know how. Like how do you guys, I just, I feel like I just see my dark circles and I'm like, wow, you need a lot to cover that up, you know? And I'm just using a dry sponge, don't come for me. I'm just so lazy, I don't wanna get up. Oh, hey, that's actually kind of nice. What? How is that applying like that with a dry sponge? I am shooketh, that looks really nice actually. When's the last time I used that concealer? Must have been in that video and I never used it since and I don't know why. Thank goodness I decided to do this video or else that would have probably sat in my drawer. Wow, that looks really quite nice. I quite enjoy that. Wow, that looks really good. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna set it with my Milani powder. It's not my favorite powder in the world, but it's really good for a drugstore option and it's better than the Anastasia one, so. Which is another product a lot of people like that I just don't, so I don't. Why does everything look so cakey on me? That's my question. I feel like everything that everyone loves and is really highly rated is cakey on me. So I'm just setting my face because it's July 1st. So you can bet your bottom dollar that it's hot outside. I don't know why I just turned southern there, but. I'm gonna apply the powder on the rest of my face using this Stelazzi Duo Fiber Large Powder. It's a really unique brush and I quite like it because I feel like it stops me from applying too much. And what I remember from this foundation, you don't need a ton of powder because it's kind of not self-setting but kind of in a way. I feel like I always miss this spot and then my bronzer goes on patchy. Does anyone else have that problem? No, just me? Because I'm an amateur? Okay. Yeah, I think I don't love that foundation primer combo. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I definitely don't love it. For bronzer, I'm actually gonna go in with that same brush and I'm gonna use the butter bronzer. Um, I'm gonna go in with the same brush just because this bronzer is kind of orange on me if I apply too much. So I don't want to apply too much. <laughs> Bring some down my pasty neck. This is like, the one area that just stays so white all year round. Even in the summertime. Okay, that looks patchy. See, why? Look at that patch. I don't even know if you can tell. Like, I can't tell if that's like my error or if it's the products. I don't know, oh well, but it's patchy. So that's great. For blush, as we discussed earlier, I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Gen Nude blush that I can't seem to open. Oh, there we go. It's like a pretty mauve color. It's a little dark, but, so since it's a little dark, I'm gonna use my Duo Fiber Small Powder Brush by Stelazzi. These are so good. And for highlighter, I think I've decided that I'm gonna go in with the Tarte one instead of the Becca one. Whoa, almost dropped it. This is what the Tarte one looks like. It's like a champagne gold versus the Becca one is literally just pure white. And I think this might just be a bit too much. So I'm gonna use this on my Sigma Jordan Liberty structure brush. This collection is pretty expensive, but I really enjoy it. The brushes are. And since Tati's video yesterday, I have decided that I'm not going to support Morphe anymore. So I'll be buying a lot more Sigma brushes. I feel like they're just so much less problematic. So we'll see, that may change, but until I know more info, I'm gonna refrain from buying from them. I mean, I didn't really buy from them a lot since they took me off PR in the first place, not because I'm salty that they took me off PR, just because 
I don't know, I just haven't really seen anything that I've been super intrigued by to purchase. I know their quality and it's like not my favorite in the world, so that's kind of my reasoning. So now I'm gonna go back into my So Jaded palette and I'm just going to ooh, do my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with, again, the warm brown Carnelian and I'm just gonna apply that on the lower lash line using an angled brush. This one's by Sigma, but I don't know what it's called because the number has rubbed off. I'm just keeping it super tight to the lash line. And then I'm just gonna go with something a little bit fluffier, but not too fluffy. I'm gonna use this little tart brush. Oh, it's got product on it. Nah, well, that's fine. And I'm gonna go dip into the citrine shade and I'm just going to buff out the warm brown a little bit. Cool, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm just gonna do this Buxom Lash Mascara. I just, I really like it because it just adds a little bit of black and doesn't make anything clumpy for under my falsies. I don't think I'm gonna put any waterline eyeliner on just cause I don't feel like it. And it's summer, so I don't really, I don't know. I think I can get away with it. So again, these are the Boudoir Lights by House of Lashes. Really like this style. Does anyone else watch Jackie Ina and get really bad anxiety when she just like leaves her lash glue drying for so long? I'm like, man, just put those on already. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm just gonna add a bit of that Fenty setting spray. I really like that setting spray, I do. The mister was really nice on it, but the bottle broke because UPS just threw the package at my door, so. That was fantastic. I really appreciated that. Okay, and lastly, we will go for lips. I think I'm gonna go with ColourPop Spring Roll lipstick. I don't even know if this is still available anymore. It came out with the Sweet Talk palette. It was part of that collection. And I really like how this color looks on me because it's not too orangey, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of nudes pull really coral on me for some reason, or really brown. And then I'm going to top it off with the Stilazzi Cosmo. I think this is their lip vinyl. I really, really like these glosses. They're super good. Oh, hey, it's like an exact match. That's perfect. Oh, I love that lip combo. That's so pretty. Okay, so this is the final look. My hair is wild today. I'm finally able to get a haircut tomorrow, actually. Thank goodness. So, this is the completed look. I think it's really pretty. I think I rediscovered a love for a few products, so I'm really excited. I think this is my new fave lip combo. I'm really feeling it. So yeah, thank you so much for shopping my stash with me. It was really fun. I discovered some fun products that I want to get more use out of in my own collection, which is awesome. Also, I have like this huge breakout right here and it's just so weird. I've been trying to get rid of it for a while, but it's really stubborn. Anyway, the product that surprised me the most was actually the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I could have sworn I didn't love this and now I really, really love the way it's looking. So that is awesome. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.